After watching this video, you'll know exactly what to expect from the upcoming RTX 4060 graphics card, including its performance in games. Additionally, the RTX 4060 has a serious issue that may sway you towards choosing a different graphics card altogether. Let's start with specifications. The graphics card features 3072 CUDA cores, 24 ray tracing cores, 8 GB of 17 GB per second GDDR6 memory, and a 128 bit memory bus for a total bandwidth of 272 GB per second. The power consumption is only 115 watts. The RTX 4060 MSRP is $299 in the US, €349 Euros in the EU, and £289 in the UK. The exact launch date hasn't been set yet. Nvidia plans to launch the RTX 4060 sometime in July. If you want to use ray tracing with DLSS, then you can expect the RTX 4060 to deliver 60 or more FPS on average in some of the most recent AAA games at 1080p resolution. Although it is worth noting that these are Nvidia's in-house testing results, which may have been cherry-picked. We should wait for independent reviews before making a final judgment. If you plan on using NVIDIA's frame generation technology, then you can expect over 90 FPS average in Cyberpunk 2077 and over 100 FPS in games like Dying Light 2 and Hitman 3. NVIDIA is pushing hard for everyone to use frame generation to boost FPS. However, I don't think the technology is mature enough to use it as widely as we use DLSS to boost FPS in games. There are just too many problems with image quality that need to be addressed before I start taking frame generation seriously. So, right now I don't consider it to be a good selling point for the RTX 4060 graphics card. If you want to know the raw rasterization performance without DLSS, ray tracing and frame generation, then I have bad news for you. We don't have any official or leaked benchmarks just yet. However, knowing the RTX 4060 Ti performance and the difference in specifications between the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti, it is possible to calculate a rough estimation. Here it is. Essentially, I expect the RTX 4060 to trade blows with AMD's RX 7600. That would make the RTX 4060 just 10 to 15% faster than the RTX 3060. If my calculation is correct, then the 4060 with just 8 GB of memory is going to be a disappointing replacement for the RTX 3060, which has 12 GB of memory. Memory capacity is a big deal in 2023. It has been proven time and time again that 8GB is not enough to run the newest AAA games in 2023, using the highest quality textures even at 1080p resolution. The lack of memory causes stuttering in some games, making them unplayable. In other cases, the game is playable, however, due to low memory capacity, textures won't load properly. You'll see low quality surfaces, ground, foliage and other elements. The textures will be cycled in and out of memory, but because there isn't enough memory to store them all, some objects will always be low quality on your screen, like this bush or tree in Halo Infinite, regardless of the fact that textures have been set to ultra quality. Furthermore, going forward you'll have to reduce texture quality down to high or medium in some future games, if you have an 8GB graphics card. If you think that this is just bad optimization, then I would like to remind you that PS5 and Xbox consoles have 16GB of unified memory. The PC platform used to be superior to consoles. Not anymore, I guess. Game developers have had enough of squeezing everything into 8GB just because GPU makers are slow to adopt new industry standards for all the wrong reasons. Game developers want to deliver visually stunning next-gen experiences, which is simply not possible with 8GB graphics cards. And it's not like GPU makers don't know any better. After all, AMD makes the hardware for PS5s and Xbox, so they are more than aware of what's going on in the game development industry. But I guess you still have the option of reducing the quality down to high or medium if you are stuck with an 8GB graphics card. I just don't recommend buying a new graphics card with 8GB, because what's even the point of having a gaming PC then? 
might as well get a PS5 instead. By the way, you won't have such problems at 1080p with graphics cards that have 10GB of memory or more. That's why I think the RTX 3060 is still a pretty good option if you plan to play games at 1080p resolution. AMD's 10GB RX 6700 at $280 is an even better value right now, because for some reason the RTX 3060 still sells for close to $300. You may spot a well-priced RTX 3060 as we get closer to the $300 RTX 4060 launch in July. On a side note, the power efficiency of the RTX 40 series graphics cards is impressive. For example, both RTX 4070 and 3060 Ti are 200 watt cards, and yet the 4070 manages to deliver 40% more FPS. AMD's newest RX 7600 and the RTX 4060 Ti have similar power consumption, yet the 4060 Ti is 26% faster. Of course, the current RTX 40 series pricing destroys any value arguments. Currently, AMD wins this one without a doubt, thanks to how cheap the RX 6000 series graphics cards are right now. I don't expect Nvidia's pricing strategy to change significantly anytime soon, simply because of how much money the company is making by selling GPUs to the AI industry. AI is bailing out Nvidia the same way crypto mining did during the GTX 10 series and RTX 20 and 30 series. Nvidia is shifting its manufacturing capacity away from consumer-grade GeForce graphics cards towards producing more GPUs for AI. There may be some price movements across the RTX 40 series lineup, but don't expect anything groundbreaking. Overall, I expect the RTX 4060 to be a disappointing upgrade option. I don't think I'll be recommending it over the RTX 3060 anytime soon. And if you already have an RTX 2060 or better, then there is little to no reason to upgrade. You still have access to DLSS to boost your FPS if needed, so you're not missing out on much even in terms of performance and features. My verdict would have been different if Nvidia had released a 16GB version of the RTX 4060 at $300 or developed it with 12GB of memory in the first place. However, due to the way the GPU was designed, Nvidia can only deliver a 16GB variant of the RTX 4060 if they ever decide to offer higher memory capacity in the future. Unfortunately, as it stands, there is no tangible evidence of such plans currently in existence. In conclusion, if you are looking to spend around $300 on a new graphics card this summer, then I recommend you consider the 12GB RTX 3060 or 10GB RX 6700. The 12GB RX 6700 XT is also a worthy option if you can stretch your budget a bit. It can be found for as low as $330 and offers far superior performance than the RTX 3060. Other AMD options, such as the RX 6650 XT and 6600 XT, including the recently released RX 7600, are barely worth considering versus the RTX 4060 because they all come with just 8GB of memory. There is nothing to get excited about here. Actually, I think the RTX 4060 is the better option in this case, simply because the 4060 consumes way less energy and has DLSS, which is much better than FSR at 1080p. If you found this video helpful, then give it a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already, and let me know your thoughts about the RTX 4060 in the comments. I do enjoy reading them. It was I, Vadim, until next time.